Hey what's up everyone, it's me Jordan, welcome to the video. Today is October 13th and EA Access members for Xbox One and PC are getting to play their free trial for Battlefield 1. So, um, seeing a lot of videos pop up today on uh, people playing the game across the five maps I believe. Uh, I haven't watched any campaign footage because I don't want that spoiler or anything like that. But Today I want to talk about the new game mode Operations because it's getting a lot of uh, positive feedback and a lot of um, good reception from the community. And I was wondering, is that going to completely take over Rush? Now because the thing is, Rush is, it's fair to say that Rush has been not as good as it used to be back in Battlefield, Bad Company 2 and, and Battlefield 3. Why is that? I think the reason why that is or the main reason at least, is I think the maps that are in the games are just not made specifically for Rush. Uh, Battlefield 4 of course is the clearest example, whereas in like Bad Company 2 they had maps uh, specifically designed for Rush uh, that weren't actually playable on Conquest and those maps are pretty much the most memorable ones I remember for the game mode. You had, uh, you know, Arika Harbor, uh, Valparaiso, Isla Innocente, and Battlefield 3 had some good ones too. They had Damavan Peak, Karg Island, Grand Bazaar. In Battlefield 4, it felt more like they just made 10 conquest maps, and then just when it came to designing Rush, they were just like, that looks like the best spot to put an MCOM. And it ended up being so disappointing that like a year later, DICE LA actually went back and redesigned Rush uh, for the maps, like changing the MCOM placements and vehicle changes. And, and in the Battlefield 1 beta, Rush didn't really grip me as much as as uh, obviously expected. It was only one map. It was an or it was okay, but I mean there was too many vehicles in that game. There was three vehicles you could ha take. You could, th you, you could take three tanks as the attackers, which really did not work at all. And no, it was basically as long as uh, your tank drivers weren't plonkers, they would you would win no problem. So operations is uh, basically rush, but instead of ca uh, uh, attacking MCOMs, you capture bases. Um, so it's based on a mix of rush and conquest, and uh, it's not like just one objective you have to like capture. You have to take I think uh, two or three objectives in the same sector to then move up and the enemy team or the defending team sorry can actually cap those objecti objectives back so it's not like as soon as you cap it that's it held you have to actually you can actually cap it back and uh, make the uh, attack attackers start again I am actually thinking this is gonna hit rush hard because when I think about it designing a game mode like operations doesn't sound as challenging as rush because when you have some good conquest maps all you need to do is look at certain parts on the map for like that looks like a capture zone and uh, then you can put it there basically whereas in rush the it's very you gotta choose a very specific spot just a little spot for the MCOM to be placed uh, it's gonna be a lot easier for them to design operations to be more fun I think if that's the case then rush is not gonna have a good time on battlefield 1 it will, I'm sure, I, I'm assuming that there will be like a few good maps for Rush, I'm hoping. But if not, then I think Rush might be heading towards uh, a wall. Now the only difference that I've been told, I think, I think I heard this, that a behemoth is deployable in operations. I think if it's like, if you reach the last, like when they get to the last sector, the attackers, I think a behemoth comes in. I think, I think that's what I heard. I could be wrong about that. If I am then just ignore this next like minute I'm talking. So if behemoths are a thing in uh, operations, then that is a really controversial decision because I'm not sure if that's going to work. It would be very much hard. I think it would be a lot harder for the attackers to get anywhere with a behemoth because behemoths are powerful and uh, when you have them on conquest, that's all right, I think, because it's more larger open areas map. But in operations, it's a bit more linear, a bit more uh, tight. Now, I want to end up on this by saying that I think uh, new game modes often don't really get a lot of popular. Like, they get popular in the first while. Like If you look at new game modes like in Battlefield 4, like Obliteration. Obliteration was fun 
But I think after a while everyone just went back to Conquest. And I think it's going to be the same story with this uh, War Pigeons game mode. I think people will play it. I think people will enjoy it. But I think after a while we'll all be like, yeah, let's just go back to Conquest now. Operations actually might be a uh, long-standing game mode uh, for Battlefield 1. If it's done right, of course. Now, will it kill Rush? No, I don't think it will kill Rush. I mean, I think the title I put for the video is a bit over the top. But um, it's basically just a thought. Because if Operations is done right and Rush isn't, then I think a lot, of, not many people will be playing Rush. And... Uh, it's annoying because I am a big fan of Rush and I loved playing Rush in Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. I could have fun on BF4. I think Goldman Railway and Paracel Storm were good maps for Rush. They, even then, they weren't like as good as like the BF3 ones or any of that. And Sunai Desert in the beta, it was alright, but they just had too many vehicles in there. There was way too many. They maybe have one vehicle per team for Rush. That's it. You know, have one vehicle for the attackers, and that's it. If they're going to keep these vehicles, then that's just, it's not going to work at all. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you've played the game, if you've got EA Access, uh, let me know what you're thinking. Because, uh, I mean, I'm really intrigued to see what everyone's thinking about this game. And, uh, I mean, it comes out in just eight days now. So, really exciting stuff. Uh, or eight, at least eight days from me. I know there's people getting it three days earlier. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Give me the reasons to doubt. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones. Go break all of my bones. You won't ache my soul. You can't get to me. And every